What is going on guys today we have got a Kevin De Bruyne 99 rated card so I don't know with this card really I'm, I'm kind of in two minds with him yes he is very expensive um, if you look at his team in the season I sold mine about a day and a half ago now and I sold him for about 1.7 so if you look at the 288 rated squads I believe they're coming in at about 460 for both so if you have that sense it's not bad for your price. If you can get a team of the season 99 for 1.6, 1.7, obviously that will start to drop. Let's have a, a quick have a look at it as well. Um, that will start to drop. So I can imagine he will drop down quite a quite a considerable amount because as soon as they get an SBC, they're, ba they're bound to drop. That's just how it works. Um, if I go, I go 1 mil, because I, I doubt he's dropped that much in this amount of time. So... Let's see what we've got with him then. So he's got his 98, obviously. We've got a 1.6 already, 1.5. So you can already see he's making that massive, massive dip already. We'll probably see him probably under 1.5 by the time we finish this video because everyone will be trying to sell him off now. So I'm really happy I managed to get rid of mine very, very quick. And I thought with the SBC being announced or like the, the player of the year, player of the season um, being announced. I knew the SBC was coming. So I thought I'd get out of it. Um, looking at Footbin at the moment, there is no price for him. So, oh, in fact, an 88 rated squad is coming in at about 400k. But then one of them's coming in at 290. Yeah, so it's about 480 per one. So then we've got the 86 rated squads coming in at 260. So say if we say 480, um, plus 260 plus 260 um, and then we look at maybe what for the 85s we're looking at about 200k for both i'd say being very generous that's coming in at 1.2 for me that's not bad at all what i'm going to be planning on doing to get this kevin de bruyne done because we have got how long have we got 13 days to get him done pretty easy right there um, obviously we get prime gold mega don't understand what there's two different require uh, two different rewards that always mind boggles me. Two rare Electrum packs, two different icons, and a premium and a rare mix. So what we'll probably try and do is get the 88s done first, and then we'll move it down. But what I really wanted to talk about is why is this promo so bad? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the fact that FIFA is coming to an end and it's genuinely or generally just kind of hitting its peak. Hitting its peak time. This is kind of the end. I'm not too sure. I just think they really undersold this preseason. I felt like they could do a lot more with it. Yes, a few of the cool rewards for FIFA 21. Don't get me wrong. Yes, chemistry styles are not great. But I can kind of deal with that. I think some chemistry styles, some loan uh, cards, that's all good. Kits, I'm not expecting them to give me any massive rated cards for FIFA 21 in FIFA 20. Because it defeats the object of bringing that game up. Bringing the squad from like gold, silvers, all the way up to what team we have now. So I'm not expecting anything massive, but the actual content for FIFA 20 is awful. Like, really, who's got all of this ready in their squad and it's fodder? Like, unless you are diminishing your club, you have not got an 80, well, 288s, 286s, and 285s ready to go. I'm not going to be doing a review on him because he is practically exactly the same as the 99 team of the season. So we already know he's a 10 out of 10. But I thought I'd share the light and kind of just go through a couple of ways I would probably try and do this. For me, I would be going with the 82 to 88s. If you've got a bit of coins and maybe you want to try something, maybe the 81 doubles. We'll get one done whilst we're on video um, just to see what the look is like today. Um, we managed to get Team of the Year De Jong yesterday, which was just absolutely fantastic. Um, and I do want to see the price of everything at the minute because we are going into a point now where fodder is very, very high right now. Um, I think I was buying them yesterday for about 1.7. I should have bought him. Why I didn't buy him at 1.1? Yeah, I should have. I didn't even see there was 1.1. So I think... In terms of low-rated cards, everything's still chilling at about 1.7. Um, it is a bit high in my expectation for it, um, but it depends on how many coins you've got. I'll probably be doing a few 81 doubles on stream, just kind of going through, buying whatever, and then just kind of putting it in there. Maybe do 400k worth of 81 doubles, um, just because, why not? We're, we're, we're hitting the end of the game now. If I was grinding it and I've got coin focus, I would be definitely looking at at least the 82 to 88s because that's personally enough. You don't need any more than that. Um, 88 rated is the max. So yes, it would take a little bit longer to maybe get the uh, 88 rated squads done. 
but you should get it pretty simple, really. Um, let's go back to La Liga again, and then we'll go and find some midfielders if we can. Or we'll try defenders, in fact, because that would get the chem a lot easier. Just defenders are hard to come by, bar from like this one. Um, so let's try and whack them in and see what we need. Um, but the A1 doubles seem to be a little bit better. Um, I don't know if that is just a bit of fluke because when I did them before they were absolutely atrocious but like I said we've managed to get Wamba Saka as team of the season we also got um team of the year Diong which was a big surprise to me I really didn't expect to get him um, and then suddenly he just popped out of nowhere so that was pretty cool um let's get Jacqueline whilst we're here and then one more I should have gone with the center mid oh we'll go with a goalkeeper if we can and that's perfect so we'll get this one done but for me Kevin De Bruyne's not a bad price. It is expensive for this part of the game. Like, who really wants to sit there and grind that amount of players? But if you're still grinding the game and, and you kind of still got some coins available, why not? I, I think it's a good price for him. In terms of if you compare him to his team of the season, it's not bad. If you look at the SBC in total, I'd probably maybe half it and then that would be fair. Seen as though, like I saw Harbour put on Twitter, realistically, how many matches are you going to play with KDB for a month? That's pretty much all we've got. And this one, we do get a board to finish off the thing. And it's just going to be a board. So no look there. We do get a board. And it is going to be big boy Unana 85, which I can't complain at too much, to be fair. And 85 is a great start to getting that first squad done. We're going to be trying with the 88s and then going down. Double goalkeeper pack. Let me know if you're going to be doing KDB or... Are you just not with it today? Are you not wanting to do KDB? I can't blame most people. If I had untradeable 99 KDB, I wouldn't bother. But now we've sold him off. I can get him under 1.5 mil worth of upgrade pack. So that should be pretty cool. So I'll be doing that. Stay tuned. Club tour coming at the end of the week. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.